So, um, from my, what I'm looking at, I've looked at um, Channel 4's uh, programme, it's called First Date. It's supposedly a documentary type thing, um, looking at people who are going on first dates. And so, basically, uh, to give kind of an idea of what it's about, um, this is kind of a promotional type thing that, that they created on, um, they put on YouTube, to kind of uh, people talking about what they don't like on first date and kind of it, it, it's promotional material for the, the kind of the main kind of bulk of the thing. Uh, I don't like physical contact. Don't touch me. Don't try kissing on the first date. So I'm not prepared for that. We're going to talk about exes. Don't ever ask me if I want a small or a large one. Oh my god. If they go on the phone. There is never an occasion when I'm drinking wine where small will be acceptable. Anyone that half the only day is like, I won't feel again. Would I like to go fast? Again, not a question. So yeah, you kind of you get the idea it's very much with the whole kind of the music it uses, it's kind of it, it's already added a kind of a bit of a farce kind of attitude to it already when it claims to be a documentary. So to kind of give you an idea of what it does, it's um, an interactive Big Brother-esque style um, show. So basically you watch the show and if you want to date one of the people on the show, um, you can actually apply to on the Channel 4 website and become a part of the show. And it's, it's kind of... It's adding a new kind of level to it with social media. Um, but basically, I've been looking into it, and they actually they don't they haven't hired this restaurant out. They actually they hire it out every Saturday, and completely rig it and pull it down and repaint it, uh, so it can um, keep moving again on the Sunday service. So it is an actual first date between two people. And they have lots, they tend to concentrate around four dates, uh, generally keeping kind of two dates for the first half and two dates for the second half. And they have lots of other dates kind of going around them which are at the actual first dates as well. So it uses, because um, it's actually a very short period between shooting and editing, uh, at the beginning of the show it was actually four days from shoot to uh, screening on, on Channel 4. So it's, um, they, they tend to use a lot of very similar styles and cuts and techniques throughout the film, throughout the, the, the actual 45 minute duration. And they use lots of very similar questions uh, between different kind of uh, characters as they, as they can be called, I guess, because I don't personally believe they're kind of fully honest as people, in it, or, or they don't show them fully honestly as people. So it kind of it looks at kind of love and relationship and people's past love lives, but instead of showing them as kind of what they are, because a lot of them are quite broken people, and um, it actually kind of makes fun of them as as for what they are and how they speak and stuff. But in a lot of cases, they're people who've had a lot of bad, quite traumatic <coughs> experiences, and it's left them kind of emotionally damaged and it, it shows but they actually show it in a very they try and make light of it a lot so the with each kind of day they actually edit it so um, it looks bad if the outcome of the day is bad because they interview them at the end of each date and ask them if they go on a second and if they say no they actually have a tendency to edit it badly and cut out, out, cut out the nice bits and cut straight to the kind of the bad bits where somebody said something shocking or it's going badly fairly obviously or that somebody's gone to the toilet and they're gossiping with one of the other extras behind them about how badly their day it's going which is why I've got the uh, some, uh, bathroom conversation seem a bit wee bit staged because quite often unless they're just kind of unless they're kind of impaired by alcohol or something they do seem all too familiar with the other people in the bathroom, as if they've been introduced beforehand. So each date averages four hours, three hours, and each episode is 45 minutes. 
So obviously, without having four dates in each show, they have to cut down, kind of, they've got to cut down 12 hours worth of footage into 45 minutes. So you've obviously got some kind of form of truth being cut out there, very obviously. So another thing that I have a massive problem with is um, that they'll take an awkward situation where somebody will say something racist and they'll actually cut clips from earlier or further on in the date where somebody's got an, a certain expression on their face that fits um, that kind of the shocked expression, but it's held for longer. So it actually makes it seem, they, they actually kind of take shocking bits and make them even more shocking by adding to them from other, other sections of the day, which I do believe is very dishonest. And so um, with the kind of constant narrative, um, it tends to go, kind of they'll, they'll show a clip of the date and they'll cut to this really annoying clarinet tune and they'll start um, doing one, one person's interview and then they'll talk about themselves and, it'll, uh, and this will be overlaid by clips of their date which kind of, it just adds this really kind of quite annoying effect to it. So I think personally it's not, ne it's not necessarily possible to make the show more ethical because it's already so dishonest in my opinion that it's very hard to actually kind of make it honest and I think if, if I were to say um, how would we make this more honest I'd actually say cut down the number of dates and don't show such a biased kind of edit um, relative to what they actually said at the end at the, end, at the final interview so it's kind of it's looking at the aim of the show really and because I don't believe it's a documentary personally I believe it's for entertainment Okay, uh, good stuff, James. Thank you. Uh, any questions for James, please? Um, the subject itself is it, it's sort of because when you're on a date, you're not overly truthful to begin with. So <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be honest with us. Yeah. Do you think that it sort of like takes away from the truth in a way? But the subject itself can make it seem more <coughs> Yeah, but the thing is, they, 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 they seem quite honest in their interviews. And then they go and, sh they go and kind of portray them as liars in, in the day by kind of, they, 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 they juxtapose the interview and what they say in the date right next to each other to kind of make it seem like they're, 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 they're lying to the other person and that it's going to go badly. So they basically tie around with, like, the human it's, yeah, I've got to say, it's a really compelling show. I enjoy watching it. I mean, it's, it's very amusing, but I don't think for a minute that it's accurate, mm -hmm. certainly. I think that's a fairly good analysis of it. If it's not a documentary, what, what genre is it? I'd actually put it as a very light mockumentary. Mm, no, but mockumentary, is, mockumentary yeah. is, 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 is fiction. Yeah. So, not mockumentary. So, just an entertainment show. Entertainment? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reality TV. Yeah, That's big brother. Reality TV. Just just keep those two words in your head. <coughs> Everyone is, is, is absolutely bang on so far about this this idea of truth being constructed. When we talk about reality TV, just bear that in mind. But yeah, that's a really important phrase. This, this is one of the reasons why I find the show f so frustrating. Is it's, it's really constructed reality, I think. I think if you can take it at, at superficial value, I don't think it's intended for anything more than superficial value. It's quite entertaining. But uh, it has been, that's been a really interesting analysis. Um, any other questions for James? No? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. That's great.